Welcome back. On this lesson, we're going to update resources on AWS, which we already provisioned. Here we're back. This is the same file, same lab, same EC2 instance, which we provisioned previously. Here are our instances. Uh, let's update something. Let's change something. So, for example, I want to add additional tag. Uh, I want to add tag project equal, I don't know, Phoenix. Uh, yeah, only uh, that's all. Only here I just want to change something like add additional tag. Yeah, let's say. How do I apply these changes? If you change it something in your code, uh, let's go here, here, and just execute Terraform apply or plan again. Just yeah, first plan. Let's go as best practices. Again, it's going to check our Terraform file and compare ev everything what is in TF state file. If there's a match, okay. If there's no match, something uh, changed, it will show us right now. So you will see exactly what Terraform will do if you will execute Terraform apply and will type yes. All right, you see, it's not going to add nothing. It's not going to destroy enough. It's going to change something. Okay, let's scroll up and see what is going to change. As you see, update in place. What means update in place? What this means, it's not going to replace resources. It's not going to kill the old one and create the new one. It's going to update it uh, in, in place. So what is going to update? You see here, the tag will be updated and we're going to add project Phoenix. Cool. Uh, and you know, before we execute Terraform apply for this, let's change here. Um, I don't know, like Amazon Linux server. Uh, yeah, we updated existing a uh, tag. We not added additional tag. Executor from plan. All right, you see two uh, going to change. Let's see two resources are going to be changed. Okay, the first one is my Amazon. What's happened here? Let's see. Okay, you see, it's it going to update the name from Amazon server to Amazon Linux server. Nice. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted, so it's okay. And the second one is my Ubuntu. It's going to add just the yeah, project. Cool. So we can execute our form apply. All right. Uh, basically, just it, it's the same output as from Terraform plan. Just type yes. And it's going to make these changes. It will work parallel, by the way. So that means it will update both of them on the same time. It's like not going to update first and later the second one. Okay, it's updated. If we'll switch to AWS console, we'll refresh it. We shall see here another name, refresh. You see Amazon Linux, yeah. And on the Ubuntu, we shall see additional tag called project. Yeah, this is how we're changing, okay, updating. Let's go back here. All right, let's... Let's make additional change. Uh, for example, if we will go here to documentation, I want to set up a SSH key to be ingested uh, during provisioning of the server because I want to log in once I don't know, one, once a while to this server. So where is it? Uh, Terraform, AWS, EC2 instance. Yeah, let's go to documentation and see how do I specify a SSH key. And let's hear, let's see here. A lot can be specified. And you see key name, key name of a key pair to use instance. Okay, just key name equal basically and the name of the keeper. Let's go here and yeah, I want to add to my Ubuntu key name equal and the name. Uh, let me go to my console and see if I have some keys provisioned key name oh yeah I have some yeah Dennis K Oregon yeah I will take this I, will, I want to use this in order to log into the server because right now we will go here and just that, that doesn't matter click on each one of them and scroll down and to see the key name you see keeper name there is no because we didn't specify it so it's not using so you you never can log into this server yeah basically I, but, but I want to log in so let's switch to our code and this is the name of the key. Let's just save it and execute Terraform. And let's Terraform apply yeah, without Terraform plan. That's fine. <laughs> and let's see right now what it's going to do. Because I just 
updating one resource and adding one uh, additional parameter uh, key. Okay, as you see, it's not going to change nothing right now. It's going to uh, add one and destroy one. What's happened? Let's scroll up before we type yes. Let's scroll up and see what's why. So it's going to destroy and then create replacement. Uh, my Ubuntu will be replaced. Oh my God. And let's see why it's going to, you see, for replace, for which parameter is forcing to repl the replacement. As you see, key name, we added key name, then is key Oregon, and this forced the replacement. So the server need to be replaced, the server need to be uh, terminated and created new one with the same parameters. Yeah, it's exactly the same parameters, uh, but in addition, it will have a key. So this is what it's going to, to do. Uh, IP address probably will change. Uh, the, Tags will stay the same. Everything will stay the same, basically. Yeah, except of the uh, instance will change. So let's type yes and see what happened. You see, first it's destroying the server, the old one. Going to here. If we refresh, you see shutting down, shutting down my Ubuntu. When it will terminate, it will will, will be in terminated state. It will start uh, creating the new one. So some parameters you can update in place and some parameters a uh, required replacement of the resource basically to kill the resource and uh, create the new one. Okay, destruction completed. Right now it's going to create the new one. And we'll switch to the console, refresh and we'll see, see, okay, the new one is pending, yeah, soon we'll be running. And that's all. This is how we updating resources. Another parameter let's update. It's for example, I want to increase the size of the instance. It was T3 micro. I want to make T3 small, basically make it a little bit bigger. If I'll execute Terraform apply. If you know AWS, in order to change instance type, you need to stop the instance, change instance type and start it. Let's see how Terraform handling this. Like you, not, like you don't need to recreate the resource really to terminate it. Maybe you installed already a lot of the software on it and you don't want it to be terminated. Okay, you see it's going to, to be changed. So no terminate, no create a new one. And let's see, what is it? Instance type will be changed from T3 micro to T3 small. And let's see how it's handling. Type yes. Modifying, you see, if we'll switch to the console, let's see what's happening here. Okay, it's going to stop it. You see, it's not shutting down, it's stopping. Uh, right now it's T3 micro still. Okay, it stopped. It's still T3 micro. Okay, it's right now T3 small. And pending, probably just starting right now. Okay, it's running. And it's done. So basically, this is the way how you update your existing resources, resources which you already created. Just yeah, just change the parameters here, just in, inside the code, and execute our form plan to see what it's going to do, and if it's going to recreate or if it's just going to uh, make the updates in on place. And that's all. See you in the next lecture where we're going to uh, learn uh, how to destroy resources.